You know what it's like to go into a restaurant and order comfort food. Well, I pray that you also know what it's like to go into your day and order the comfort of God. It will literally warm you from center to circumference in mind, in body, and in soul. At times, you know we experience doubt and confusion. At times, we experience despair in our lives. But we can overcome such feelings. What an incredible blessing it is to know that we can receive the comfort and the direction that we need, that we can go on our own personal quest to find this comfort, and it will be found with God. And the comfort of God, it stays with you. It is something that warms you for a long period of time, and then when you feel that you're being distracted away from that comfort, you just go to God again. And you have that infilling. You have that renewal. You have that warmth, that surrounding protection and comfort. When you're going through a challenge or a disappointment, you appreciate the presence of God in your life. And perhaps as never before. When you pour out your heart and your feelings to God, God rushes in to love you and to comfort you. In your hour of need, the Comforter reveals the truth of God's love for you and the everlasting feeling of protection that you will have inside of your very bones, inside of your cells, where you'll know that you know you're not alone, that you have something with you that is greater than you and greater than the problems that you're facing in the temporal moment. And even in the best times, the best days that you'll ever have, do not forget that God is with you, that God teaches you, and you can receive the understanding that you need to move into a fuller and a more abundant life. I pray today that you receive the blessing of the Comforter, the comfort of God in filling you and changing your day changing your life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.